life is about ups and downs and how you handle the peaks and valleys that come your way. Here we're looking at Saturn's super cool moon Titan through the eyes asterisk, of the James Webb Space Telescope. And yeah, that is super interesting and super cool in my opinion. Scientists were like, hey, a giant asteroid hit Mars and then created a mega tsunami. And I'm like, yeah, I bet a bunch of interesting shit happened on that planet over the millions and billions of years it was there. And I'm also like, Mars is way too close to Earth for my comfort. And retrograding Mars is going to be facing off with like Mercury and then Venus and then the sun over the next week or so in Sagittarius. So if you're a mutable sign, you may not find this energy very comforting. And mutable signs are like Kanye West, the Gemini, or Sam Friedman Bank, Bankman Freed, or whatever the hell his name is. He's a Pisces. I'm a Sagittarius, and I can say, yeah, the energy the last few days has not been my favorite, and the next week is probably not going to be super great. So if you're a Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, or Pisces, or have those placements, just be prepared for the next week or two to be maybe not your favorite ever. Yeah, Earth, Mars is going to be its closest approach to Earth in the, I think on the 7th or the 8th. And then you're going to get some pretty spectacular alignments with a bunch of planets you can see in the sky like Saturn and Jupiter and Mercury and Mars by the moon all at the same time. So expect for the 7th and 8th to be kind of impressive energetically. Some good, some bad. All right. Hey, here we're getting a telescopic view of Mars. Neato. All right. Over the last 10 years, I've made kind of a habit of giving you guys about a 10-day, a little more, a little less sometimes, warning about big storms. And so it looks like, what did you just do to me? It looks like we've got our eye and have had our eye on around the 12th or 13th of December. Boom. Look at that nasty thing that would definitely cause a lot of flooding and a lot of problems for a lot of people. So I'm saying that the next big storm period we'll probably see will be in about 11 days. And that looks like a pretty nasty storm after it. So be prepared for some wild weather in the month of December. Hey, happy December. And can I mention that November was a super crazy month and congratulations again for surviving it. What do we have? We had a big election and then we had a hurricane and then we had a bunch of tornadoes. And then we had a giant uh, volcano eruption. So yeah, November was jam-packed with shit, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I warned y'all ahead of time that November was going to be a wild month. And it did not disappoint. Hey, here we're looking at the sun. How are you doing, sun? Well, we got a big new sunspot alert. A new sunspot is emerging over the sun's southern eastern limb. And it appears to be a big one. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory is monitoring multiple dark cores as they creep over the horizon. Oh, hey, yeah, and if you missed the Thor News fundraisers, well, they're back. I have a year-end fundraiser for what'll be the 11th year. I've done 10 years from now. We started year 11. So I have a Thor News fundraiser going on for 2023. Thank you to Computer Social Impact Research Institute for donation contribution number one. So if at any time over the last 10 years, you were like, hey, I would like to say thanks to Thor News. I got my birthday coming up this month, and I got Christmas. Anyhow, you can make a donation to my PayPal, my Venmo, my Cash App, my Patron, and sometime this week, I'm going to go get a P.O. Box. Okay, great. Thank you. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Oh, the weather outside was, eh, you know, I don't know. It's like foggy in DFW right now and a little drizzly. But here we're watching mixed precipitation over the next 48 hours. Um, and did you check out Kanye West totally losing his mind today? That was epic. I mentioned he's a Gemini and remember Mars is retrograding in Gemini right now. So shout out to every Gemini out there who isn't Kanye West. Cause y'all seem to be handling the shit better than he is. I've never seen a billionaire lose his money so fast, but you know, you learn something new every day. And we've learned that. Yeah. And I guess Sam Bankman. Also, he was a Pisces. He lost his. 
billions pretty dang fast too. You don't know what you got until it's gone, or so they say. All right, here we're looking at the day three to seven U.S. hazard outlook. You can see a lot of below average temperatures, heavy snow up in these areas, much below normal temperatures, heavy rain up here, heavy rain throughout this corridor. And the, hey, Alaska people, you got high winds, heavy precipitation, freezing rain, sleet, high winds, heavy snow, a lot of heavy precipitation. So, yeah, Alaska, red alert for y'all from day three to seven. You got quite a few wind advisories. That's what this shit is here. And then you got quite a few, hey, winter advisories. I think like 10 million people are going to be under winter weather advisories over the next week. So wear your mittens and your earmuffs. Atmospheric haze all in my brain. Lately, things don't seem the same. Here we're looking at Titan again. The images from the James Webb Space Telescope. You got cloud A, cloud B, and then cloud smiley face. See, there's an eyeball in there. It's a big smile or whatever. And then there's the Kraken mare. Or double, whatever. Hey, dude, what time is the magnetic pole shift going to hit my house? I heard they got rain in California today. Man, that looks like one of those clouds that alien ships hide behind. I see you. Breaking views. There's a bubble in predicting the end of the world. And you know me, I always say, not on my watch. Yeah, buddy, teamwork makes the dream work. And for everybody out there who's like, Elon is the coolest, greatest human being ever. Well, step right up and get your neural microchip in your brain. You know? Because he's microchipping people's brains, dude. I would say, microchip these nuts. But someone might take me seriously. So I will not say that shit. Oh, we had an M-class solar flare from a sunspot. Within the last 24 hours, I believe. And here, you and I are looking at it together. Because we get high on science. Right? Man, my mom was like, I want two tickets to go see Taylor Swift live. And I'd like a limo ride to the show. I was like, okay, mom, I will see what I can do. 2023 will probably be crazy as well. Because you will see Pluto, after like 12 years, leave Capricorn. And go into Aquarius, and then you'll see Neptune go into uh, the next sign, and then um, uh, oh shit, I just forgot stuff. Anywho, 2023 is going to be epic as well. And here we see a deadly landslide engulf a motorway in Brazil. And if their country is anything like ours, these people would be like, it's all the left's fault. And these people would be like, it's all the right's fault. You know? And so a bunch of people were mad that Elon bought Twitter. And so a lot of people went to Mastodon or Hive Social. And then they announced, oh, yeah, uh, Hive Social doesn't really have any type of security. So just by being on that site, you could have hackers easily hack into all your shit. And so I think they shut it down for a bit or whatever. I know this was a poor report on that. For that, I apologize. But hey, Chinese companies advertising on Twitter have been up since Elon bought it. So that's, that's something. Am I right? Just pounding a beat on Uranus. Uranus. If you could hear the commentary here, you would recognize that it was hilarious. Basically, you can't put glitter on a fish. I mean, you can, but it's bad for the fish. Hey, the unicorn Christmas tree is back. That's cool. Yeah, there have been some weird signals from the models for sure. I don't know. At this point, I would just assume that every single super hot pop star or super hot Twitch streamer is secretly married. You know what I'm saying? All right. Man, I hope you have a super duper rocking awesome December. Hopefully, it'll be a wonderful month to remember. Welcome to I don't know. I think all the Twitch ladies are now playing with the new AI generated machine, which is fine. Yeah, it's a big sunspot, yo. And hey, if you stayed this long to the video, I would like to say, sorry, I had to stop, I had to sneeze. This seems like a bad sign. Blackstone incorporated $69 billion real estate fund for wealthy individuals, said it will now limit redemption requests, meaning people who want to pull their money out after breaching limits this quarter, sending the private equity firm's stock down the most, 
in more than five months. And they would take a bunch of rich people's money and then just buy up tons of houses and neighborhoods. It doesn't really seem fair, but you know, that's capitalism. Um, nobody ever said capitalism was fair. Uh, but yeah, dude. So the fact that that could be a sign, you know, if the real estate market, which also might be a bubble, if it pops, oh, Nelly, look out. And remember, the like economic shit, I don't think will settle down until probably the second part or the spring of 2023. And I've been saying that all year long. I've been saying that since the end of 2022. So I'm not going to change my tune now. Yo, hey, dude, can I pet your dog? <laughs> okay. And that's hilarious because A, that's not a dog, and B, that's George Lucas. I did not get to go see Blackpink. Maybe next time. All right. Everybody stay cool. And I appreciate you. You're amazing. All right. I'm out of jokes. So I should wrap this one up. Everybody stay cool. Try to love one another. And display some forgiveness. Tis the season. God bless everyone. Merry Christmas. And happy holidays.